they made night vision goggle where they made a big heavy expensive not very well performing objective for that goggle um, and then he found the folks at Kodak literally after searching the world over to find the molding technology which enabled him to reduce that same objective down in size, increase the performance, and make it cost competitive. So when Kodak decided to uh, close its doors, he obviously saw an opportunity to write a business plan, and acquire those assets, rehire those people. Um, and we've rehired most of them back to the point where now we're hiring people that weren't ex-Kodakers and we're training you know, the next generation of um, master opticians. We manufacture the molds for the, uh, for the glass molding and uh, we also manufacture optics for infrared thermal imaging uh, cameras. So these, these are made of materials that are crystalline materials, germanium, uh, things like zinc, cel zinc selenide, calcium chloride, so they're kind of you know, exotic materials. And they also uh, are, are typically, they have an aspheric surface. And I don't know, did I talk about aspheres or did, did Matt kind of explain what an aspheric is? So it's got a specific shape to it. Um, this room that we're in right here is the metrology area for the uh, uh, for the diamond turning group. So we've got uh, equipment that can measure surface roughness, uh, interferometers looking at uh, uh, spherical surfaces, and then uh, we have profilometers that measure that aspheric profile. So these are real accurate. You know, they measure nanometer kinds of uh, resolutions, uh, some things down in the angstrom. So everything, everything in the optics industry is, is uh, you know, at a very, very tight tolerance. So if you through here, you can see, you know, lenses from, you know, very small little uh, collimating lenses to uh, larger, you know, 40, well, inch and a half kind of, kind of lenses. So thick, small, large, all kinds of different shapes and sizes. This lens here is, um, it's an infrared transmitting glass, which is moldable. So this is, this is one of the newer things in the infrared area. Instead of diamond turning, you make your molds, and then you can replicate that mold uh, in this infrared material, this glass. Uh, 